Hi guys! So for today's video I am going to be doing a Effie Trinket style inspired look. Um, now I know I said I was going to wait till Halloween next year and do it as a, as a Halloween video, but with uh, The Hunger Games Catching Fire set to release this month, the movie, um, I thought it would be kind of fun to do it now. So, um, yeah, I really had a lot of fun doing the makeup and, and everything, you know, researching, looking through pictures, and it's kind of a collaboration of a few different um, costumes that she had and looks that she had, but um, like one video, at the very beginning you see um, that she had, you know, lipstick on full, but then as the movie kind of went on, you see her lipstick kind of go into more of like a, uh, a 19... 20s, 30s, whatever style that, you know, they, you don't see the corner of the lips or whatever. So, um, yeah, anyway, like I said, I had a lot of fun fun doing it, and I hope you're going to have fun recreating this look. And uh, so we're going to make this video into two videos. I'm going to make the first part into a makeup, the makeup part of it. So we're going to do the makeup, and I'll show you the wig and everything. Um, and then we'll do the nails in another video. Um... And then probably just in one of them, I'll just explain, I'm sure. I, I think in this one, I'll just, you know, kind of go through how I made um, the, uh, instead of making it a separate video, um, because I'm not going to actually do it again, I'll just kind of walk you through how I made the accessories and the flowers and stuff like that for her. So, uh, without further ado, let's so get started. So the first started. thing you want to do for Epi is she had a very pale look. So you want to get a foundation that is really, really pale. I'm really pale anyway, so I actually have lightest foundation really. Um, I find for me a good way to make it go on just a little bit lighter because Effie's look had a, a heavier makeup look like you could you could really see that the the um, you could really see the makeup sitting on her face. To me I could anyway. So what I do to make that look a little heavier um, is I use a brush. I'm using this little flat brush here to put on my foundation and uh, I find it just sits more on top of my skin instead of blending in. It looks much more pale. So we're going to do that. I, really, I, I wouldn't do this on a normal basis, but I really like painting it on. It's really, it feels really cool. I've never had it done, but I could see where people, when they get mud and that painted onto their bodies, where, why they would like that, because it's like, I think I'd like it. One of these days I will. Okay, I'm also going to be covering my eyebrows with my foundation. Because she had very, very faint eyebrows, you can choose to cover them up all together and then draw them on after if you want. Um, I'm not going to. And I also paint my lips, or yes, I make sure there's foundation on my lips as well. So this takes a little bit of work for me, it, I think, because when, I, when you do this, it tends to look streaky. And I'm going to cover basically everything, even my eyelids this time. Because I want everything to be nice and uniform. I'm going to have the wig on. Um, you can see just the little tips of my ears, but um, really when I have earrings on, you can't really see. Because she has on the, the clip-on earrings, not the ones that hang down. Not the danglers. You just want to be careful around your eye. So I really use my coverall powder. Do 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 do. Oh, that's pretty good. I thought it was gonna be paler than that, but it's pretty good. Or sorry, darker than that. I don't want to be darker. I want to be paler, if anything. Okay. There we go. That's good. So once you set it with the powder, then you're, we're going to start on the eyeshadow now. Um, Effie's eyeshadow, she doesn't have a lot on most of the time. In the very first part of it, when she's um, announcing the tributes or whatever, um, her 
eyeshadow on that is just very mute and she actually has no liners or anything on that I can see so I am going to be using pinks and I'm going to be starting off by using this little it's like a medium kind of rosy purpley pink so we're going to be putting that on our lids and I'm just going to be going just down underneath the crease line kind of thing I'm not going up past my crease line with this And then I'm going to be using this much more pale pink, and that's what I'm going to be using on the top, up to my brow. So you can see it's very, 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 very light um, colors, very muted colors. I know some of them Effie looks that you see, they've got on these wild eyelashes and... Um, lots of pink makeup and stuff like that and that's an it I mean that's their interpretation this is just mine so okay okay so she doesn't actually have liner on her eyes in this look or I'm not going to use liner what I'm going to use is this medium pink again and just a little uh, flat liner brush and I'm going to bring this just down under my eyes just under the waterline here. Now you can see that kind of made my eyes look a little bit, um, oh and I got some in my eye, great. It kind of makes my eyes look a little bit tired. So what you can do in that case is I'm going to put a little bit of white eyeliner just in the waterline to kind of cancel it, the pink being so close to my eye. There. It makes it look more like there's just, I don't know, it just, it just makes it look less tired to me because you don't want to look like a tired Effie trinket. I'm just going to go back across here, where the white came down just a little bit. Okay, so for blush, we're going to use a little bit of pink. And I'm probably going to use just a little bit, just like this little rosy kind of pinky color here. So I don't want to do too big of a color. Just basically just so you can kind of see it a little bit there. Me, I'm a very cautious person with my blush, even when I'm putting it on every day. I don't know why, I just am. There, just enough to give you a little rosy glow. That's about it. For, like I said, she doesn't line her eyes that I can see, so what I got, and her, her eyelashes don't look black black either, if you've noticed, so. What I got was this, and I think it's really, really fun. It's called A Thousand Lashes and it's by Hard Candy, and this one is pink. So I thought because I'm doing the pink, you know, um, eyeshadow and everything, that the pink, um, this pink mascara would be really, really cool to use, so. And I really like it, I wish I could use it every day, but I just look really, really funny, I think. So it just adds a little bit to it. And when I put this on, I'll just kind of give you a close-up if I can. And I also do the bottom. And like I've said before, generally I don't do the bottom part of my lashes, but um, I have kind of weird freakishly long ones that tend to be a little longer than the top but for this look because there is no other liners um, I think it looks pretty cool get all the crap out of my eyes put just a little bit more on I 
I want a good coat of it because I don't want to show the dark part of my lashes. I want it all to be the light, rosy color. There we go. So now I hope you can see them kind of... They're really, really cool. I really, really think it's a really, really cool look to it. So then we have our lips. Now I'm going to just outline. This is kind of a, it's not even, it's not really the lip, the lip liner that matches the lipstick, but it's just kind of the line for me where I kind of want to go with it. And it's okay because this lipstick needs to be just a little bit darker. So this is kind of like a brownish ready kind of pencil. So I'm going to make like a Cupid's bow lip. So basically what I, I'm going to do is exaggerate the low part of my lip on the top and I'm also going to exaggerate it on the bottom. But we're going to shorten our lips up. So what I start off doing is I start off making an X and then come out with it just above my own natural lip line because of the shape of my lips. Some people don't have to, they have a natural cupid's bowl. I do not. No, like a really natural, um, bigger cupid's bowl than I do. So there we go. Now it's just a matter of filling it in. So I'm going to take my lipstick here. I don't generally use one of uh, these, but because this is a, a small little lip, I don't want to get too crazy with the lipstick, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to trace over kind of where I went and not talk when I do it because I'm going to screw it up. And then fill it in. Be careful you don't go too far and end up screwing up your little bow that you got going on. So I like to crisp up my lines a little with my liner, or sorry, with my um, foundation. So what I'll do is I'll go back with a smaller brush. I 
and just define around my lip. There we go. So that's our lip. Um, now she had a bit of an ombre kind of look to her to her lip, and it was like a gold and um, the gold and the, it was a little bit darker than this lipstick. But uh, I do have, and I forgot to get it out. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was thinking I was going to use this. <clears throat> I can't put a little open. Okay, this is my lipstick palette, and I'm going to use this gold one right here. So I'm going to grab my brush again. I'm going to grab this one's like a little bit of a, this one's a flatter brush. It's angled. You can use a flat, like a straight brush, but Aaron, put place that right in the middle. In the middle there too, and it gives you a gold, um, kind of a goldy sheen to it. That you know, it's a very subtle gold sheen. Um, you can by all means use, you know, like I said, the, the liner. Um, I used a gold liner before and put it on my lips, um, and that worked too. So whatever, whichever one you know you prefer to do. So I've gone ahead and put my wig on, and um, it's really big. I, I This was actually a Marilyn Monroe wig, wig that I bought at a Halloween store. Um, I got a, a fairly good quality. It's kind of midstream. It's not like the best quality wig, but it's kind of midstream for a Halloween store. It's not the cheap, cheap ones either. Um, this one, because you can wash it and, and it'll set back again. Like you just kind of dry it a little bit and you can set the curls back in. So you can kind of use hairspray in it and stuff like that as well, which is something that I wanted as well. So the flower... What I did, this was actually um, one of those big white flowers that on the stems that you can buy from, you know, Walmart, dollar store, whatever. So I just bought one that I, I kind of liked, and the, um, I can only find it in white. Um, so I bought it, and then I bought dye, because I had to dye my um, some of my other parts of my costume anyway. And I just dyed the flower, too. I got a silk one, so, cause it was, so it was dyeable. And, uh, yeah, it's just pinned on there. I just... Um, um, took some velcro, put it on the back, and then I pinned the petals. I just grabbed some of the petals and then um, put bobby pins through them, and that's what holds it on there. I mean, it flops around, but it won't fall off. Um, the wig, like I said, is a Marilyn Monroe one. I had to pin up some of the sides and stuff like that just to give it the shape that I wanted, and I had to tease, you know, tease it and shape it uh, first to give it that big full, kind of Effie Trinket full look. And, uh, yeah, so there's bobby pins in there as well. You'll also, if you can see, I, I can see that one up there, um, there is a little bit of pink through it. And what I did is I used just, it was just an added thing for me for the costume, is I used some hair chalk. You get these at Sally's, and I think you can even get them at the drugstores now. Um, different colors of hair chalk. So I put pink on there because it's kind of the theme throughout. And then the next piece that I did was the... This is my neck piece, my neck band um, of flowers, and it's giving me the, oh, I forgot how to undo that. Oh, no, I'm kidding. So this is my um, neck collar that I made. So you can put it kind of wherever, and I think this really gives it the effy trinket look. I really, I, I just love this, how I did this. So, um, yeah, and how I did it. It was really easy and this is actually kind of funny. This is an old stocking, like a knee-high stocking and I just, I put Velcro, the stick-on Velcro, I stuck one piece on either end so that I could do it up. That makes it stretchy, it makes it a little more comfortable to wear. And then what I did for the back, for this part of it, is I just bought a bunch of dollar store flowers, I cut the, the flower parts off and cut the stems away and then I just placed them where I wanted to and I hot glued them down onto there and as you can see the hot glue doesn't let go even when I stretch it and uh, yeah so that's my uh, that is my Effie Trinket kind of look 
I will post actually pictures as well at the end of the video of um, and on the thumbnail of what my complete complete costume looked like last year when I did make it because I did what I did all I just paired it with a black shirt under and a fuzzy pink sweater on top with a big wide black belt and a pink uh, skirt and then I had on um, my long boots as well and I had gloves on and I just cut the fingers out because I did my nails and I wanted to you know, to kind of show off my nails too. Um, so yeah, so that is the Effie Trinket look and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to watch part two of how I do my nails for this, for this completed look. Thanks, bye.